Welcome back everyone. I've been experiencing a lot of problems on pretty much all my iPhones. Whenever I switch from one device to the other, whether it's an iPhone or a Mac, I tend to have these problems where for some reason my calendar just doesn't get refreshed properly. Now we'll go ahead and show you how to do it on both an iPhone and on a Mac device, but the concept is pretty much the same. So what you want to do, what you want to start off by doing is verify that you're signed into the same Apple ID that you want to go ahead and actually get your data from. So if you're signed into a different Apple ID or different username, your calendar stuff is not going to come onto the same iPhone. So keep that in mind. So what I do is typically I go into my specific calendar and then from here, I want to go ahead and match up whatever entries I have here to whatever device I had before and make sure everything matches. Typically they match but sometimes they don't sync up properly. And that's the problem that I was having. And I was even getting problems on my Mac that was saying, you know, this calendar is not being refreshed properly. So what I did, and it's the same concept on an iPhone, but again, I'll separate it later. You wanna go into your iPhone. If you're experiencing this problem on your iPhone, you want to go into your settings app, just like this. Now, what I did was I went into my iCloud settings. I then clicked iCloud, which is right here. And then what you wanna do is you'll see this little calendar, little iCloud, toggle thing right here okay so you just want to follow it through calendar okay it's right here all you need to do is make sure that this toggle is on now for a lot of you i'm pretty sure this toggle may already be enabled so what i had to do in this specific case was i actually had to go and disable the toggle so whatever this came up and what i did was i clicked delete from my iphone so then it would go ahead and delete everything that was on my iphone from the calendar entry and then what i did was I went ahead and re-enabled that toggle again. And what ended up happening was as soon as I went back into my calendar, now this is not my real phone, this is just you know my business phone or whatever, I actually was able to see that my calendar things were there and I was not getting any more errors. And what I verified this and how I verified this was I went ahead and made a test entry. I just saw it on here, I just said something stupid. And then I clicked add. And then what ended up happening was I went to my other device and I was actually able to see that it did sync up. It took like a second or two, but it synced up. And ever since then, this was like a week ago, nothing has happened. And I'm super happy this ended up being the case. So that's all you have to do in order to actually make sure your calendar invites are, you know, valid and making sure they're, you know, there. Now, the other thing you can do on your iPhone is also making sure that the data is automatically pushed up. So you don't have to manually push anything. So in order to do this, you wanna go into your settings. You wanna scroll down until you get into the calendar little option, which is right here. So go ahead and click there. You'll see this little account option up here. So you wanna go ahead and click that. And then you'll see this little option right here. You wanna click fetch new data and you wanna make sure this is on push. If this is off and this, you wanna make sure this is on automatically as well. If this is on manually or hourly or anything like that, then it's going to change up those intervals. If it's automatically, it's going to make it so much better. So make sure this is on automatic and make sure this is on push. And then from there, that'll probably end up fixing your calendar. If it still doesn't work, then obviously go ahead and restart your phone. Go ahead and do the same steps that I told you again, and that should end up fixing it. Now on a Mac, it is a little bit of a different process, but it's pretty much the same. So on my Mac, which I'm showing on the screen right now, what I did was I actually just ended up going onto my little settings, so my system preferences. And then from there, there was a little option where it actually allowed me to go ahead and go into my iCloud settings. So I went ahead and clicked on iCloud settings, and then what I did was I did the same exact thing as I did on my iPhone. I pretty much just disabled the calendar, right? So it totally went away. And then I re-enabled my calendar right there. So I didn't go ahead and do one or the other. I literally just went onto the calendar. I disabled the calendar from the iCloud settings and I went and re-enabled this and this ended up working. Now I didn't do this a week ago. I didn't do this a month ago. I literally did this yesterday. I was still experiencing those issues when I transferred from another MacBook to another and the issue ended up fixing itself. And that's exactly all I had to do was go ahead and disable the iCloud setting and then re-enable it. Now, if you're still on a Mac and you're still experiencing these problems, what I would recommend also is verifying that the data is being pushed automatically. So go into your system preferences and find any options that allow you to go ahead and automatically push these you know, you know, specific calendar invites and all that. You want to make sure you go ahead and have those enabled. Now, if this still doesn't work, what I would recommend doing is totally signing out of iCloud on your MacBook or your iMac or whatever. So totally sign out of iCloud, go back into iCloud, re-enable it, sign into your specific credentials and everything, and see if it's still working. At this point, to be completely honest, it should end up working. The problem should have fixed itself, but if you're still experiencing these issues, I'd recommend refollowing the steps and going through this whole video again. So that's really pretty much it. That's how you do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. 
hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much for you guys to hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything also, every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.